10 seconds. On the Texas Tech Sports Network from Learfield, it's time for Red Raider Basketball with head coach Mark Adams, presented by Rudy's Barbecue, Rudy's in? Country Store and Barbecue. Yep. Visit Rudy's.com to in. find real Texas right, barbecue near not you. Yet, yet. Also brought to you by Bud Light. Tim's the it's for the Go fans. Front, Reliant Energy, proud partner of you Texas Tech it. Athletics. And by Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Register for your chance to win courtside seats at RedRaidersContest.com. Two-hand throwdown, and the Red Raiders are running. Now, here's your host, Jeff Haxton. Welcome in, everybody, to Red Raider Basketball with Mark Adams. I am your host, Jeff Haxton. Come on down to Rudy's Barbecue. Come by and see us where you can get the breakfast tacos, the brisket, all of it right here for you at Rudy South Loop and Slide. Joining us for the first time to lead off the show is none other than Big Maple. Let's give it up for Fardaz Amak. What do you think of the welcome? I don't think it was loud enough, man. (laughs) One more. There. I like it, yeah. And you'll be in a position finally to ask for some crowd noise coming up this weekend or this, uh, yes, uh, tomorrow. So uh, just overall, how did it feel to get back out there against Texas? Um, you know, personally, like the, the, the atmosphere um, was insane. Um, for me, you know, the last couple of games, just, you know, being on the bench, you know, and then being in the game and like really um, the, the two perspectives that I had, you know, Iowa State when we played, they had a really good crowd. And then Texas had, you know, a really good crowd. Um, it just... It was surreal. Um, obviously, being out there with my teammates was amazing, and, and, and I loved it. So how did the how is it trusting the foot again? Is that tough? Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely tough. You know, I, I think uh, that's one thing that um, I'm still learning to do right now. Um, you know, me being a, a, obviously a, a big guy, 6'11", you know, 250, I think that's going to take some time. But, um, you know, with the, the staff that we have, with, you know, our medical trainers and, and – and uh, other people that, you know, are helping me with this injury. Um, I'm not worried about it. I'll be honest. I expect you to play about five, ten minutes. <laughs> Did you expect to play 29 minutes? Um, I mean, not initially, but, you know, uh, the game got close, you know, and, and Coach wasn't going to play me, you know, but, you know, this Wait, staff, he wasn't going to play you? No, no, like, I mean, he was going to play me that much, but, you know, they came over and they said, you know, how's your foot feeling? I was like, it's feeling great. Um, and then, you know, we just kind of wrote it out, and, and it's felt great since, so, yeah. So what's the mood in the locker room like after a two-point loss when you guys have had, uh, had some, a tough start to conference play? Yeah. Um, you know, in any other conference in the country, um, the mood would be obviously, you know, very down. Um, we're in the Big 12, so, um, you know, as of this morning, the AP, you know, polls came out. Baylor's back in the top 25. It's another chance to, you know, crack a top 25 tomorrow. Um, every single team you play is in the, you know, the top 40 net rankings and, and Kempom and all that. So, um, you know, you could lose six in a row and you win four in a row and you're in the top 25. Now you're back in the tournament run. So for us, you know, we know that we got to just get back on track, you know, win some games, put, you know, string that together and then just go from there. Tell these people about your background, swimming, martial arts, Tell them about that, how growing up, those were parts of your life. Yeah, so growing up, uh, for me, my parents were big on, you know, just me doing everything. Um, my dad was big into MMA, so, like, that's kind of the first sport that I fell in love with. And uh, he kind of put me in it, so, like, you know, I'd get tough and, you know, uh, um, just, you know, em- embrace, you know, toughness and, and discipline, all that sort of stuff uh, from being in that sport. But then... As basketball came around, that just kind of took over as my, like, true, true love. When did that happen? I want to say I was, like, 13, 14. I read where your dad was feeding you steak at six months old. (laughs) That's not a lie. (laughs) Tell us about that. Um, I mean, he's going to be out here in a couple weeks, but, yeah, no, he's he's an interesting character. He, uh, he's... 
he's pretty old school on stuff and uh, you know my mom would get upset all the time like what are you doing like he's just a baby and you know he'd be like no it's good for him we'll make him strong so like that's why he would do I think that. it worked <laughs> we may have a new feeding plan for the, the infants of Lubbock Texas um, tell us about your parents journey yeah so um, both my mom and dad are from Afghanistan they uh, migrated to Canada uh, I want to say like 30 years ago Met in Toronto and then moved to Vancouver, um, where I was born about 20, 20 years ago, 27 years ago. Are they still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do your parents do? So my dad, uh, he like sells like uh, handmade like carpets, rugs, um, like Persian rugs and stuff. My mom's uh, stay at home right now. So were you happy with your performance the first one out? Um, I mean, obviously not just because we didn't win. I mean, for me, like... You know, it 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 was uh you know, it's disappointing to lose, right? But, you know, at the same time, like, you know, after the game and, and when I had time to process the loss, like just the fact that, you know, um I could go out there and like, you know, my foot, you know, is is obviously not where I want it to be yet, but you know, it's the first step to the, you know, towards the right direction. Like, you know, three to four weeks it's gonna be a completely different, you know, you know, foot and player and like kind of get back to who I, you know, who I used to be. With what's going on in this in this conference, I mean, how are you guys holding together? Because you play number three, number 12, number 13, number 14, all uh -huh. those things. How are you guys holding it together as far as your chemistry? Um, You know, for us, I mean, every I know myself and every other single person, you know, in that locker room is a competitor. Um, we're obviously young this year, but I think, you know, just with the experience of the other guys, you know, it's helped out the young guys a tre tremendous amount. Um, you know, I'm, I'm super proud of our, our young guys that, you know, step up every single night that, you know, come in and, and do the things that we need them to do. And, and uh, you know, when you're a competitor, like you look at, you know, OK, we're playing Baylor tomorrow, top 25, and then you go to Kansas State, number 14 in the country, and then you go here you know, top 10, whatever it is, um, like, that's a, for us, it's, a, you know, like, uh, just licking our lips, you know, like, we're like, okay, we, 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 you know, we're, we're coming, you know, for everybody in the conference, especially with us being fully healthy. What was it like playing at Utah Valley? Um, I mean, it was, a, it was a great experience. Uh, Mark Madsen, great head coach, uh, you know, longtime NBA player and uh, NBA head coach, and, and I learned a lot. Um, from him, you know, when I transferred in, and, and he's uh, someone who I still respect a lot. Um, you know, props to those guys. They're having a great year right now. Um, Keep track of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have a lot of friends that, that uh, go there, you know, so just, you know, happy for those guys over there. What made you want to choose Texas Tech? Um, you know, I think, you know, for me, it was two reasons. Um, Obviously, the, the relations that I built with Mark Adams and then uh, Matt Shabinsky, both, two, both those two guys were, uh, you know, played a big role in, in what I, you know, wanted uh, out of my next school. And um, just the fact that, you know, I'm a good offensive player. You know, I like to play defense. And, uh, you know, I knew Coach Adams was going to take me to that next level defensively, um, you know, especially when I'm fully healthy, like to that next level to where, you know, um, where I want to go, you know, he would help me get there. Talking to Vardaz Amac, what happened on the missed dunk? Why, why'd you get teed up? Man, I, I don't, my legs just gave out, you know. It was, it was first Your legs game. gave out? Yeah. You my, got that high still? Yeah. <laughs> my first game back, you know, um, dead legs, that's all I can say. No, nothing Your else. eyes were like, I got it, I don't got it. Yeah, no, no. It, I'm not missing one tomorrow, though. Don't, I don't plan on missing one tomorrow. Do you, do you, what, what was your argument? Because you were pleading with the referee. Like, cause well, right, no, he, 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 uh, he was like, you can't hang on the rim. And I was like, well, like, it's my first game back. Like, give me, you know, give me a break. And he was like, he was like well, I, I don't really care. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Big 12 referees, yeah. <laughs> I thought you might have been pleading your case that if you would have let go, you would have fallen. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Because you kind of swung a little bit. Yeah, I mean – yeah. <laughs> how many how many dunks do you think you're gonna get the rest of the way? The you're rest of the way. One, I'd, I'd put I'd set your over under un, over under at one and a half per game. What do you think? Yeah, uh, I'll take that. Take that. Yeah, I'll take that. 
how did you try and stay conditioned with a broken foot? Um, honestly, it was really tough. I mean, there's, you know, certain things that we could do, um, you know, that would work the upper body. Obviously, I was lifting every single day. That's, kind of, that's why, you know, I'm so big and strong right now. But, um, you know, it's, it's, there's so much that you can do that doesn't replicate running, you know. And, like, for me, uh, looking back at it now, just getting clear Thursday, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today, you know, it's just like under, you know, four or five days that I've had. Um, of actually running again. So, um, you know, I, I give myself about two, three weeks before, you know, I'm fully, you know, in tune with everything and, and back to uh, back to what I was. Well, you told me that uh, without you, you thought that Texas Tech was X. I can't remember exactly what you said. And top you said, 25. Okay. With you, what is Texas Tech? We're a top five team in the country for sure. And I, I, right. tr I truly believe that. Um you know, it's obviously with the, uh, you know, our record doesn't show that right now, but, um, you know, our guys want to win so bad. And and in the long run, you know, in like a month and a half from now, when we look back at it, you know, going on six or on five, whatever we are right now, um, you know, it's going to be beneficial for us, you know, just because we're a young team. You know, we've learned a lot from every single loss. Um, but now that we got our team healthy for the first time, you know, I think we have a chance, you know, to make a big run at, in this conference. Number three, let's see, number uh, – the updated uh, AP Top 25 came out today, but this – we'll just go off of what this says. 18, which has moved up, that's TCU. Three, Kansas. Uh, 14, Iowa State. 10, Texas. 21, Baylor tomorrow. Um, you excited to play in front of this crowd for the first time? Super excited. Super excited. Are you going to be one of those guys like Davion waving your arms and stuff, trying to get people into it, or, or you just go about your business? I mean, I, I can try, but, I mean, that's not really me. Um, I'm more of a, you know, just kind of stay locked into the game type of sort of guy, you know. If, if I'm talking, it's definitely to the other team or the other coach. <laughs> you talk to the other coach? I mean, you know, if, if it, it happens. <laughs> Well, let's hope you have a good reason to talk to the other coach. Let's give it up for Fardaz Amac. Good job, Fardaz. Thank you. Appreciate it. We got more coming up. Mark Adams around the corner on the Texas Tech Sports Network from Learfield. Andres, bro. Clear four minutes. Or, yeah, four minutes. Sorry about that. Every time, every time, we do one thing and we do it well. Since 1981, yes, time does tell. It's not just a house, it's your home. For quality work, we stand alone. Andres Brothers Roofing, we nail it every time. Quality guarantee, Andres Brothers Roofing, every time. At Happy State Bank, the golden rule is one of our core values, driving us to meet your banking needs and make your banking experience a happy one. Hi, I'm Michael Crump, Commercial Loan Officer, Happy State Bank, and we are treating our customers the way we want to be treated, like family. Learn more about our happy family, visit happybank.com. Happy State Bank, always bank on the bright side. Happy State Bank, Division of Centennial Bank, member FDIC. West Texas Land Guys is one of the region's premier developers with projects in Lubbock, San Angelo, and Abilene. West Texas Land Guys have developed hundreds of acres and 10 communities in Lubbock alone. To see some of our work, visit the vineyards at Escondido or come see us in the 2023 Parade of Homes in Sedona. Whether you're thinking of selling land or want to buy a lot for your dream home, we've got you covered. Visit WestTexasLandGuys.com to see how we're developing the future. At Interim Home Health and Hospice, we provide one-on-one -on -one attention to patients in their own homes. We have been caring for Lubbock and the surrounding areas with personalized hospice care for 20 years. West Texans proudly serving West Texans so you can rest, feel, and live well. Call us at 806-791-0042 or visit us at InterimHealthCare.com. Interim Health Care, the champions of your health. 
Hub City Body Shop is proud to be an ICAR certified gold business. At Hub City Body Shop, we know the latest repair techniques, how to find hidden damage, and how to repair your car's critical safety features. We never cut corners, keeping you and your family safe. You'll always get free estimates, free insurance claim service, and now get free headlight restoration with every repair job. Hub City Body Shop. New name, still family owned and operated. Make it pretty, call Hub City. 5721 Genoa Avenue, just off Spur 327. HubCityBodyShop.com. How much time? Got about a minute 30. Hey folks, Brian Bruce here at Bill Wells Chevrolet. We're not just a Chevrolet dealership. We sell Buick and GMC as well. In fact, we have the largest inventory in Plainview with new 23s arriving daily. Call, come by, or click BillWellsChevrolet.com. And just like GMC, we are professional grade at Bill Wells, where your next car is in plain view. Looking for the best Texas Tech gear? Then shop with the official retailer of Texas Tech Athletics, The Matador. We have everything Texas Tech at shopthematador.com and enjoy free shipping. Shop for Under Armour coaches, sideline, and on the field players gear. Shop for brand names like Texas Tech Yeti drinkware and stylish, trendy game day wear. The Matador is proud to be locally owned, alumni, and student operated. We are loyal and passionate about Texas Tech. Shopthematador.com. 30 seconds. All businesses. At CTSI, we remind we you to it. implement cyber defense solutions to protect you. Call CTSI today and schedule a free, no obligation consultation. We'll create a roadmap that is customized for you and secures your business. CTSI is a Lubbock built, operated, and owned company with a second location in Amarillo. For 37 years, we've served the Texas Panhandle. 10. Permian Basin in eastern uh, New Mexico. And we work every day to earn your business. Call CTSI now at 806 793 8961 or go to ctsinet.com. Back here at Rudy South Loop and Slide. Come by and see us where they've got, again, the breakfast tacos, the brisket, the turkey, the sausage, all of it here at Rudy's. And you know where it's at, over by the mall. Come by and see us. I've got tickets. Oh, yeah. Texas Tech and Baylor tickets right here in my hand. So come by, get some barbecue, and get some tickets. You're okay, young man. You can go by. Go see Fardaz. Big guy over there. Joining us is the head coach. Let's give it up for Mark Adams. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. First off, are you glad to have the big maple back to your right here? How about that? Yes. Um, we've been talking about him, and and um, he had a great show on his first day back at our first game back against Texas. And, you know, Fardos is a great competitor. As y'all just heard him talk about hating to lose, and, and he works so hard every day watching him going through the rehab and shooting off the one leg. And he had a uh, grad assistant, Jonathan Holmes, that they, work, they were out there working every morning. And it's, um, it was sad to, you know, to, just to watch him not, because I know how much he wanted to play. But we're so happy for him, and our, our players are – Static that he's back, and as you can tell, he's going to make us a lot better. You think he'd play uh, 29 minutes against Texas? No, neither did Mike Neal, our trainer. <laughs> he yeah. was. Uh, he said that uh, we might have pushed him a little bit, but we couldn't. We, you know, Doss wanted to play. He said he felt good. We'd ask him, uh, you know, during the game if he felt, you know, like he could go a little bit longer. And with, um, you know, uh, Daniel Bacho in foul trouble, it really put us in a bind. So, it, uh, but again. Uh, Doss did a, did a great job, and I thought showed a lot of leadership on the floor. And you know, he's you can just see with his experience, he slows down when he catches the ball, and and he's very uh, vocal on the defensive end. Just things that we need from a veteran. Yeah, that's one of the things he talked about. We had a little interview before the game, and he said he was a great communicator and showing that and needing that. Um, what is Bacho okay? Yeah, he is. Um, you know, just. You know, he just had some – had, um, you know, some fouls caught on him and, and uh, had some bad luck there in the game. But he's he's doing, you know – Physically? Uh, physically, Daniel worked out uh, this morning a little bit that he didn't go uh, in practice very long. He's um, he's getting there. And so that, that's been one of our challenges is was having just a whole team back. We, we're getting them – you know, we got them back uh, on the roster. We just don't have them all healthy right now. Oh, Banner, I think in Big 12 play is two assists, 21 turnovers. What's up with that? 
Well, I think, again, uh, you know, he's having to uh, play a different role. And, and he may be playing, uh, you know, uh, trying a little bit too hard. He wants to win. But uh, he had, I think, 10 rebounds. And, and you know, he's been very consistent for us. And, and we've been, we challenged him to also get a little bit more aggressive on the, on the defensive end, uh, uh, not just on, on offense. And so with, with a guy like uh, Fordos back, it takes a little more pressure off uh, Kevin O'Banner. He didn't have to score as much. But... What we need to have is we need all of our, our veterans to play well on the same game. You know, you, you have Timmy, Timmy Allen, Marcus Carr, you know, 20 and 17, uh, Texas. And, you know, I thought Jalen Tyus, uh, Tyus has been playing much better. Uh, we've got Pops playing consistently on the offensive end, but we just need uh, more consistent play from either, you know, Daniel Bacho and, and, uh, and from Kevin O'Banner. Now that we've got Doss back, that gives us a little more uh, firepower on uh, on the offensive side. Going back and looking at it, just overall, how do you think you played against Texas? You know, Jeff, I thought we, you know, came out and we, we played really hard, which means just tell you how much these guys want to win. Um, you know, I thought we played a really good first half. The second half, we remind them how, how important that first four or five minutes is. And, and they did. They played, you know, they were playing hard, but we, we're, we we're making some mistakes, some mental mistakes, second half. It could be a little bit from fatigue and uh, maybe just some concentration and, you know, I thought that was, uh, you know, we, you know, we gave up way too many points the second half, and then missed some free throws down the stretch. So, you know, a big part of this is just staying focused, and then we, and then we probably need to use a little bit more of our bench second half. So you think a little bit of fatigue maybe playing a part? It, did, did that happen in uh, Fort Worth as well? You're up 11 at half uh, against TCU, up nine at half against Texas. You know, I don't think it was much at uh, the fatigue at TCU. Uh, we we just, uh, you know, we did we had individual guys that just didn't perform to how they usually play. And and then to give a lot of credit to uh, we're playing on, on the road against teams that are going to yeah. play really hard on that second half. They're they're getting uh, reminded at halftime they've got to pick it up, and and we've just got to match their intensity, and that's just part of maturity. And and our guys just all just rely on each other, and it's it's. Uh, a problem with a young team just to trust, just to surrender to your teammates and and uh, just play for the team. And sometimes we start playing a little bit too hard, just trying to make it up on our own. And some guys will, you know, take a shot that in the shot that we act really want. And and, uh, and then a little bit of frustration also with some young guys. Well, you're trying to figure it out against number three at home, now number seven on the road, number 12 on the road. Uh, AP top 25 by conference. The Big 12 has Kansas, Texas, Iowa State, K-State, TCU, and Baylor. TCU has, uh, excuse me, uh, the SEC has four teams. The Big East has four teams. ACC has three teams. The Big 10 has two teams. Pac-12 has two teams. You got six. Well, I think going along with it, there's, you know, you looked at, uh, you know, uh, ten teams in the conference, and then, you know, you've got half of them in the, in the uh, top – the top 25 so that top just 21 you, yeah top 21 so that's uh it tells you a lot about our conference and and just how good everybody is and you, you know take a team like west virginia who's was playing so good until conference started and and uh there are a lot of a lot of uh experts in there were going to be the top two or three teams in the in the big 12 they still may be uh of course baylor goes to west virginia and and beats him which is very very difficult to do but yeah a lot of uh, a lot of really good teams and and uh everybody is uh everybody's fighting every night so what's your message to the guys at 0-5 in the conference? And again, so close, you could be 4-1. I heard that from a couple Texas coaches after the game, and you know that as well. So what's your message to the guys here as you try to notch that first W? You know, to stay positive um, and, and, to, uh, and to choose. Uh, you know, you, we make choices every day, and, and, and we have doubts that go through our minds, and to, just to choose to win and, um, and expect to win and then – and then let's uh, let's not be denied. Let's let's make a decision. We're going to figure out a way to win this game uh, tomorrow night against Baylor. We'll come back and talk against uh, talk about the Baylor Bears next with uh, head coach Mark Adams. This is his show on the Texas Tech Sports Network from Learfield. 
from diagnosis through treatment. Make clear break two, four minutes. Stop for cardiac, peripheral, and vascular care. Caprock Cardio is proud to offer Lubbock's first and only full-service cardiology clinic and cath lab. Now serving the entire South Plains and eastern New Mexico regions from convenient, state-of-the-art facilities. Caprock Cardio wants to be your complete heart health provider. Caprock Cardiovascular Center and Cath Lab is a proud corporate partner of Texas Tech Athletics and the American Heart Association. Our town, our team. Envision yourself on the front porch enjoying a cold glass of iced tea as the sun fades over the horizon. We can help you realize that dream with a home loan from Capital Farm Credit. Not only do we finance land and livestock, we also offer loans to purchase, refinance, and build homes. Even if you want to buy that second home for a tranquil escape, we offer competitive rates and terms. Let us finance your dreams. CapitalFarmCredit.com This is Mark Adams, head basketball coach here at Texas Tech. Teamwork drives our program, and Red Raider Club members are a part of our team. You provide the necessary resources to compete each day. Thank you for giving to the Red Raider Club and supporting more than 400 student athletes through scholarships, academic support, nutrition, sports medicine, and much more. You are true Raider power. Record. When you open a crisp, cold Bud Light, you know game day is here. Touchdown! You owe me five bucks. We mean every sound. Enjoy responsibly. 2022 Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Introducing new Bud Light Seltzer Hard Soda Variety Pack. You hear that? It's seltzer with the pop of soda, all with zero sugar. Bud Light Seltzer Hard Soda, the loudest flavors ever. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Seltzer Hard Soda, IRC Beers, St. Louis, Missouri. At Reliant, being a part of Red Raider Nation means more than just cheering on the team. It's about being a part of a community that supports one another. As an electricity provider, it is our commitment to every customer. And it's as strong as our Texas roots. It's our promise today and for generations to come. We look forward to teaming up with you. Reliant, proud partner of Texas Tech Athletics. Reliant, PUCT number 10007. What does it take to make the perfect brisket? Basketball and barbecue lovers know that the perfect brisket needs the right wood. Rudy smokes all of their meats using their delicious signature rubs and 100% oak-fired pits. Get your real Texas barbecue fix today at Rudy's or on the web at rudys.com. Another season of women's and men's college sports is underway. Follow your alma mater or favorite team in their pursuit of the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2023 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. 30 seconds. Your Red Raider basketball team when they take on the Baylor Bears inside United Supermarkets Arena. The Big 12 matchup tips off Tuesday, January 17th at 8 p.m. and features a special halftime performance by professional Simon Says caller Steve Max. Fans are encouraged to wear white to the game and to cheer loud and proud. 10 seconds. Dot com or call 806-742-TECH. Join us in filling United Supermarkets Arena with Raider power because together we attack. We're back here at Rudy's South Loop and Slide. Come by and see us. Pick up the barbecue. Take it home. You'll be a hero, no doubt about it. Take it to the house. Get the brisket moist. Make sure it's it's that. And then uh, take that. Get uh, They'll give you the bread, white or wheat. They got sauces, a little spicy, not as spicy. They got all the pickles and the jalapenos and the onions. Are you a side guy when it comes to barbecue, Coach Adams? You know, I like potato salad, baked potato. I like all potato. I like French fry. I like all potatoes. So, um, but hey, it, yeah, it's, I love it. Love it. If you're from West Texas. You you love barbecue. And great place to eat. Boy, they do. Uh, it, it's it's tremendous. Uh, you know, we go up to Kansas City, and everybody's like, "Ooh, you get to go eat Barton now." No, we're fine. We we're, got Rudy's. We're, we're doing good, good shape. We're doing good. 
Uh, looks like you got some Brownfield folks in the house, huh? Is that what we got? Yes, Brownfield I do. Crew? Happy to see some, some folks back home. Love Brownfield. It's great memories and uh, just, um, you know, have uh, still some family back there. Mom's 92 and still wow. doing well and comes to all the games and a lot of close friends in Brownfield. Uh, let's get a couple of questions from the audience, and you can still fill these out for head coach Mark Adams before we talk about the Baylor Bears. From Susan and Jan, injury slash illness, where is the team at at this point? Straight to the point. Well, you know, we had, we had uh, as far as illness, hit, hit us pretty hard uh, a few weeks back. But uh, right uh, that uh, TCU, going in that TCU game, and then, we, you know, we've, we've had more of our share than injuries than, than I can remember many years back. I mean, being here and involved in the Texas Tech program seven years, I, I can't remember us having more, uh, you know, just uh, some aches and pains, but also we've had some serious injuries as well. So, well, you know, we've had a lot of adversity to deal with, which, it, which uh, is tough for a young team. But, uh, I, you know, what, you know, makes, you know, makes you stronger, and, and our guys uh, – are battling through it, and I think even Doss commented. It's I think it's going to make us tougher and and uh, more determined as we go through when you when you go through some tough times. Talking to head coach Mark Adams here on his show again. You can hit us up at Twitter at Guns Up Radio with questions if you want to get those to coach. He'll be with us for just a little while longer here. Um, you a Dallas Cowboys fan? I am. You gonna take, um, you're going to have. I any say time? that. I, I mean, I I grew up you know watching the Cowboys with. You know, my brother and dad and uh, Sunday afternoons, I always look forward to that and remember those great rivalries, you know, between, um, well, a lot of, you know, the Eagles, the Redskins, but, uh, you know, the Packers. And, but, yeah, I, I love the quarterbacks. I would, you know, way back with, uh, you know, Don Baroneth and Craig Morton and just goes on, stall back and goes on from there. So, yeah, I have a lot of uh, heroes that I were, were um, you know, that I wear cowboy jerseys and wanted to be. Just like them. You think they're going to win tonight? Well, I'd have to say yes if I'm a Cowboys fan, <laughs> wouldn't I? So, yeah. Not necessarily. Was, yeah. <laughs> Brady's 7-0 yeah. oh against them. Uh, I know it. I'm pulling for them. That uh, should be interesting. What is your favorite sports movie, whether about basketball or something else? That's uh, from Andre. You know, most of my favorite movies, like Hoosiers, basketball movie. Uh, then I, yeah, I loved uh, Cinderella Man. It was a boxing uh, story. Um, yeah. You know, c a couple of my favorites. Russell uh, Crowe. Yeah, with Russell Crowe. And um, what was the, what was the other question? I mean, I, I like Sea Biscuit too. I thought that was a great movie. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, Hoosiers, the clear answer. Yeah, you know, a lot of people tear down Rudy. Do you like Rudy? Oh, you gotta love Rudy. That's a great story. Yeah, a great story. Even though yeah. I mean, a lot of poetic yeah, songs there. But no, I love Rudy as well. Uh, this was from uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, I think I got it a little bit too late. What age did you start playing basketball for Dawes? I think he got it really going when he was 11, I believe. Yeah, you know, I, I started playing uh, kind of the little dribblers at uh, about, you know, about eight years old. I mean, played for a team called the Jets. We were, uh, you know, my brother and I started there. And, and, uh, got, and then my dad put a basketball goal up in the backyard. And we started, you know, that's one of my loves really started. And, uh then I ended up coaching Little Drivers when I was in ninth grade, and so that was my first coaching experience. Really? Yeah. So. Who, look what it look, look what it yeah, came look, to yeah, right here. How about that? So. Uh, uh, well, describe the basketball goal. What was it like in the backyard? Well, you know, uh, what, the first start there was one in the driveway. Then we moved to another house. And we had one in the backyard, and and uh, my dad put some lights up at the back in the backyard. So, so we played. My my dad was. Uh, you know, was a disciplinarian, and, 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 you know, he just felt like anything after midnight was not good for, for anybody. So we had a curfew, you know, around 11 o'clock. You know, our dates, you know, could stay out to 11, 30, 12. We had been for it. Well, they would. But we'd come home, and we'd play basketball till 1 o'clock in the morning, and our friends would all come over, and we'd have some great basketball pickup games in our backyard. Boy, kids just don't do that as much no. anymore. Our neighbors didn't like it. They, they were, did not like that hearing that ball bounce it. One in the stop morning. bouncing that ball like <laughs> king of the hill. Uh, Hank Hill, stop bouncing that ball. Yeah, but uh, that's that. That's I, I was lucky because I think maybe around the, the last generation of we don't have the internet. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna play whatever sports and fashion. Whether it's football season, we're gonna play football. We're gonna play wiffle ball. We're gonna play uh, capture the flag when the sun goes down. You know that kind of deal. Although we set a fire one time. 
that wasn't good with some fireworks, you know, just, to, you know, running home and hearing the, uh, the fire engines coming not to, good, to put good. out your blaze. That wasn't good. Talking to Mark Adams here on his show. Uh, let's talk about the Baylor Bears, 12-5, and 2-3 and three in conference play. They are uh, a very talented team. So they lost their first three in conference to Iowa State, TCU, and Kansas State in overtime, 97-95. Since then, you mentioned it, at West Virginia, 83-78, W. And then against Oklahoma State on Saturday, 74-58, W, even though they had a power outage at the Farrell Center. What do you think about Baylor? Well, Baylor was the preseason favorite. You look at their their lineup, the the veterans they've got coming back, and then some, and then a transfer that's uh, that's come in from West Virginia. That's a a really good player, the six seven. What's it's uh, Bridges? Bridges, and, and he can shoot the ball. But they've got three fantastic guards that are uh, uh, that are on that team, and they've got a, a freshman and uh, Keontae George. It's they say maybe the best freshman in the country, but they shoot the ball well, and. Um, you know they're just they're really hard to guard. Their transitions is is as good as it gets. They're going to push the ball down the floor. We got to guard the three point line, and and you know they've had some tough they've had some tough games, and they're they're rebounding from that and playing really well, and and they've got some momentum. We're in two in a row. We're winning two in a row, and so they're uh, I think what two and three right now. So they're trying to you know get back in the conference uh, race, and and uh, you know they're going to come in here and try to take it out on the Red Raiders, and so we've got to be ready for a really good game. What do you think about Adam Flagler? He's at 46 threes this year. Yeah, you know, he was good last year and just playing exceptionally well. Uh, you know, Cryer's the one that, you know, also has uh, got a great reputation shooting threes. Uh, those are, you know, that's a duo that's, uh, I don't think anybody has anyone, uh, uh, two guys like that that can shoot not only threes, but they can create off the dribble. They don't need a screen to shoot it. They they they, uh, they can you know don't need an angle. They can do it with the just off a of bounce, and they can dribble a couple of times and shoot in your face. And uh, they're uh, they're exceptional one on one guards. Uh, as far as their bigs go, is I know about Flo Thom, but it seems like he's been around for about seven years. Yeah, Flo's a, Flo Thom is a good player. He's a senior. I think he's had some you know he had some uh, injury issues uh, last year, I believe it was, and and but he's. Very active, uh, very aggressive player, knows his role, protects the rim, and gets out and sets those screens, and, and then he'll sprint to the basket for the, you know, for the pick and roll. So he knows what he's supposed to do, and he does it well. But other than that, uh, what are we looking at interior-wise? I mean, uh, we kind of talked about this with Texas, and I think you exploited it. That was one of the best things about the game in Austin. You, you beat them on the boards. This team, uh, where are they at with their bigs other than Flo? You know the trend now, Jeff, is that most teams are playing four guards, and and um, and so they'll have a four guard lineup in there. With Bridges is is kind of is a is stretch. a big guard, so it stretch you know stretch forward. But so we're a little different because we're playing, you know, true fours and fives where our guys are better around the basket and posting up. But we do have the the luxury of having a guy like Kevin O'Banner that can step out and shoot threes. And then Vardos is a, you know we he had a three against Texas and and. Um, you know, the way he shoots the ball in, in, in practice, well, you know, he's, he's going to make a lot of threes for us. So that, that's one area. We can, we can rebound better now with Doss in there, and we can stretch the floor a little bit. And I think we'll give some teams uh, some trouble as well because they'll have to try to bang with our big guys. Yeah, it's, it's going to be looking a lot different with Dawes back. When you look at tomorrow, Flagler and George, those guys have combined for 101 of their 161 three-pointers. So number one and number ten for Baylor, those guys are uh, pretty much green light guys, right? No doubt. You know that we've talked uh, the last few, few days. We've all got to guard them, and then especially in transition, it's that's where they get get open. So our big guys have got to uh, keep their antennas up when they're running back on on defense. We've got to find those guys coming down the floor uh, from the three point line because because not only can they shoot, but they can also you know take it and get it to the rim. They're, they're very quick players, so. That's going to be a huge challenge for us. And they got a couple of shooters come off the bench as well. How important is a big, bad crowd tomorrow? You know, Jeff, it really, really is. I, I was just so uh, proud of our fans. that they're, they're, uh, They've been behind us. We've had great support all year, and we need a huge crowd tomorrow night. And, and we get a big crowd in there. We're, we're so much better. And we'll have our students back, and, and I'm sure they'll be there um, in attendance and, and loud and rowdy, and, and it should be a great atmosphere, and we need that. Yeah, the Raider riots uh, get ready to fill up those seats, and 
Just give me, in your opinion here, before we let you go, just some, you know, the old generic, give me some keys, keys against the Bears. Well, I think we have to still go back and, and, and look inward here. We, we have to, to do a better job playing for 40 minutes. We've got to play, you know, better defense the second half. Our, our defense still is not where it needs to be, and, and uh, we've challenged uh, Kevin O'Banner um, and uh, Davion Harmon, who was our, you know, I thought our best defense uh, player about five or six games ago, and we've got to get him back on track to, to guard and better and, and then guard the ball. Uh, play better defense. Our rebound is all obviously getting better with uh, with the performance at Texas. So we have to be more consistent and then get some consistent scoring out of Kevin O'Banner uh, along with Jalen Tyson and, and Pop. Uh, as far as looking at the Baylor Bears, we better put our track shoes on and be ready to run and get back and try to get in front of these guys in transition. All right, let's give it up for Coach Adams. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Appreciate you being here. All right, that's Mark Adams on his show, Red Raider Basketball with Mark Adams, live at Rudy's Real Texas Barbecue, South Loop and Slide. Coming up, we'll have Matt Shrebinski join us, and he'll break down his role and what he thinks of this year's team and where this team is at. Coming up next on the Texas Tech Sports Network from Learfield. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Clear break three, four minutes your basketball right. VIP uh, style. Catch your Red Raiders courtside with a friend by registering. Yes, one more break. So it's going to go to Texas.com. Opportunities to win include radio. Texas on February 13th and TCU on February 25th. Winner to receive two courtside seats to the game. Ra RaidersContest.com and be a VIP Thanks. thanks to Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. That sound what right does it you? take? Yeah, around there. Basketball and barbecue lovers know that the perfect brisket needs the right wood. Rudy smokes all of their meats using their delicious yeah. signature rubs and 100% oak-fired pits. Get your real Texas barbecue fix today at Rudy's or on the web at rudys.com. Whether it's a weekend retreat, rich, productive farmland, or green grazing pasture, land is a timeless investment. Capital Farm Credit, a member-owned lending cooperative, specializes in land financing with competitive rates and flexible terms. Our lending staff understands agriculture and country living and can assist you with land ownership. Let us finance your way of life. CapitalFarmCredit.com At Reliant, being a part of Red Raider Nation means more than just cheering on the team. It's about being a part of a community that supports one another. As an electricity provider, it is our commitment to every customer. And it's as strong as our Texas roots. It's our promise today and for generations to come. We look forward to teaming up with you. Reliant, proud partner of Texas Tech Athletics. Reliant, PUCT number 10007. This is Texas Tech Athletics Director Kirby Hoka. Red Raider fans are some of the best and most passionate fans in the nation, and there's no denying it. There is also no denying that supporting our sponsors is one of the best ways to support the Red Raiders. Year after year, when businesses support the Red Raiders, they help provide funding for the many needs in Tech Athletics and make games like the ones you're listening to on this Texas Tech radio network possible. So next time you're in need of a product or service, show your Red Raider spirit and support the companies that support Texas Tech. Texas Tech fans, support your Lady Raider basketball team when they take on the Texas Longhorns inside United Supermarkets Arena. The Big 12 matchup tips off Wednesday, January 18th at 7 p.m. and features a special halftime performance by professional Simon Says caller Steve Max. Tickets start at just $10 and can be purchased by visiting texastech.com or by calling 806-742-TECH. Don't miss out on the excitement of Lady Raider basketball this season. Wreck em. When you open a crisp, cold Bud Light, you know game day is here. Touchdown! You owe me five bucks. We mean every sound. Enjoy responsibly. 2022 Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Introducing new Bud Light Seltzer Hard Soda Variety Pack. You hear that? It's seltzer with the pop of soda, all with zero sugar. Bud Light Seltzer Hard Soda, the loudest flavors ever. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Seltzer Hard Soda, IRC Beers, St. Louis, Missouri. The 30 seconds. 
Rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things college sports, and we've got your school covered. On Big 12 Radio, there's complete coverage of every school in the conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along online or on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now as a college... They boot 10 seconds. Three months of Sirius right. XM for one dollar. Fees and taxes oh, yeah. apply. Really See offer yeah. details and subscribe now at yeah. SiriusXM.com slash Big 12 Sports. That was nuts. Back here at Rudy South Loop and Slide Combined. See us. They've got pork loin, pork ribs, baby back ribs, pulled pork, brisket. They got the uh, turkey and chicken, the sandwiches. You can go with a spicy chop with the sauce. You like how I said that? Got to go with the cream corn, too. That's my favorite. Cream corn. Oh, good stuff. And then they've got the, uh, the fridge there. The, it's got all the, the sweets in it. It's all you're healthy. Su- you a sweets guy? I know Adams is. <laughs> I look like it, right? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Matt Shrebinski is joining us here. He's the director of recruiting here live at Rudy's. What does that job entail to these days? <laughs> Just talking to a lot of kids all day. You know, yeah. when you recruit a kid, you have to talk to everybody in his family, Bardo's um, said, in his circle. Bardo's and, mentioned you. Yeah, that's my guy. He's a, he's a great guy. I really enjoyed you know, helping recruit him. And, um, but, yeah, just the, the day-to-day is, is talking to a lot of kids and then funneling them to, you know, whichever assistant coach would be their point guy and then getting Coach Adams on the phone with them. And, you know, it's just a process of building that relationship and, you know, trying not to come off as a salesman but have that real authentic relationship with You're them. You're a salesman. So, <laughs> not a very good one, I guess. So. Oh, come on. Selling yourself short. Uh, Matt and I spent two years. Were you there for two years? One year at Old Roberts. One year. Yes, sir, yeah. Yeah, golly. Best year of your life, right? Oh, I had 11 of them. You had one. <laughs> so that's a big difference. But, uh, yeah, he was on the team up there at ORU. You're a Kentucky guy, though, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, I actually then went and walked on at Kentucky and played for old Billy Clyde. So uh, what was, was a good that time. Like? Made me tougher, that's for sure. Um, I had three knee surgeries, so I never, you know, I played in like four games out there. But I grew up in Kentucky, so I was a huge, you know, grew up a yeah. huge Kentucky fan. So it was a dream come true for me. So I learned a lot from Coach G and um, the staff there. So it was a, it was a great experience. Now he's at Tarleton State. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Um, Matt has the Texas Tech hoodie on. What do you think about where this team is at right now? It's a tough spot. You know, no one wants to be 0-5, obviously. Um, you know, like we tell our guys, we're literally four or five plays away from being, being four and one without a fully healthy group. And so um, outside looking in, in the Big 12, if you get to, you know, eight to nine wins, you're usually in the tournament. And I think Iowa State last year got seven wins and still made the tournament in Sweet 16. So for us, we're trying to remind our guys you got to get better, but you have to, you know, kind of get above, you know, above everybody talking to you and all that and, you know, take a deep breath and understand that there's still, what, 13, 14 league games left. And, you know, you go 8-5 and five over that, you're still in the tournament. Yeah. And so um, I think our guys are super positive. The coaches, Coach Adams is keeping the guys going. And um, we're very excited about, uh, you know, the next six weeks, see what we can do. So Yeah, it's, it's a big challenge, but it's been done before. I reminded Coach Adams that uh, the, um, the one year that Brad Underwood was at Oklahoma State, I think they started 0-5 or 0-6 and, and made their way to the dance, got yeah. hot, got going. And they actually started that streak here. In Lubbock, which nobody expected them to come in here and win, but they did, getting that W that day, and then that kind of springboarded them. So that's really what you're looking for, right, is just to get one on the board. Get that first one, and then hopefully, you know, it snowballs. Everybody's shoulders to kind of drop and relax a little bit. And then you get to go play the 13th-ranked team in the country in the the octagon of doom. (laughs) Me and Cooper joking back there, and it's like, yeah, we got 21 and 14 this week. We've already played 2, 7, and 13, so – um, you know, the Big 12 is a gauntlet, but um, I think we're built for it. And, you know, hopefully we can kind of get it rolling. Hopefully it starts tomorrow night. It's a good Baylor team. So, uh, What's it like trying to put a, a piece like Fardaz in there where you've had zero of him, but now he's such a, a big commanding guy, you know, kind of a force at, you know, 6'11", 250, as he mentioned, and, and trying to kind of recreate or, or not re- create chemistry because you haven't had yeah. that situation on the floor. Well, it, it makes it tough because when we built the built the roster, you know, coach was thinking of front court, um, probably be our strength. This when you go seven foot, seven foot, and then six nine and six eight um, with their skill level. But obviously, having Fardaz out, um, <laughs> you know, kind of changed that a little bit. But 
Fardoz is a great teammate. That's probably his best characteristic. Um, all the players love him. He loves to pass, loves to share the ball. Um, his presence on the court, talking on defense and things of that nature, I think is, you know, it was, he'd only practiced one time before he played Saturday, and you would have never known that. Yeah. You know, except for the fact he's still probably 10 pounds overweight. So yeah. I mess with him on that a little. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Which uh, caused that flight for the dunk to not <laughs> quite have the flight. But yeah. I say that. I've never touched the rim in my life, so I'll just leave that at that. I mean, he's uh, great, so. Yeah. Um, Looks like he's got a knack for being in the right place at the right time, too, which you could always use, right? Oh, he just has an unbelievable feel for the game. You know, to be able to go out there on one practice and, and compete and play um, as well as he did and fit in with the team. Um, his IQ is unbelievable. You know, we go watch plays with him on film and, you know, try to teach him our defense because he hasn't done anything on the court in four months. And so he learned all of that um, over video. Just shows his, his level of, you know, understanding the game. You know, and some, some players don't have that and some do. And, he definitely does. How far out do you recruit? Oh, man. You know, the portal kind of changed a little bit. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, because, you know, it's <laughs> you want to always get older, too. And so, um, you know, previous to this year, you know, we try to start talking to them as freshmen. So when they're freshmen and sophomores, they can call you. We can't call them. And then June 15th, going into their junior year is when we can first start calling and texting them. So their junior year is when we start really going at them. Um, do you think you know, people hold to, to that? No, there's no way they do, but <laughs> we do at Tech. We, we are sticklers for the rules. Coach Adams is honest about that. So, but yeah. with the portal now, you know, you, you got to kind of, um, you know, after the season's over, just evaluate when kids get in, you know, watch a lot of their film, and then throughout the year you just Who build relationships. Who are you going to lose to the portal? Who's exactly. going to be a portal candidate? The portal's been great to Texas Tech. And, mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And hopefully it'll continue to be that. So, one thing that you could change about this team, the one thing that you think is, is maybe missing a little bit? Health. Health. I think if we're 100% healthy the whole year, which, you know, you never, you know, go through year without an injury or two. But um, we've had some injuries to key players. You know, Pop getting his concussion and then Bacho with his hand versus Oklahoma. Um, you know, it's, I think if we were a fully healthy team, especially from, um, you know, October, November on, I think it's a different um, – probably having a different conversation now, but um, I think that's why we're all so excited going forward these last 13 games because we know what we have. And um, we just got to keep them healthy and get them in shape, uh, get big boy in shape, and then you know, see what we can do. So Is it going fast for you? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it's already mid-January. Yeah. I was texting my best friend before I came up here, and I was like, holy smokes, it's January 16th, and I think my sister's birthday is in a week, so i got to get her something. I was totally proud about that. But, yeah, it's nuts, you know, and um, that's the way the seasons always are, though. They fly by and yeah. try to enjoy it and try never to get too high in the uh, good times or too low in the bad times. Try to stay even keeled. So. It'll, it'll teach you a lot about mm -hmm. yourself, that's for sure. Well, we appreciate you stopping in to uh, Head Coach Mark Adams' show. Let's give it up for Matt Shabinsky. Thank you having me. Goes back. They got film coming up. <laughs> Three drinks on hacks the rest no, of the night. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not it. Matt Shabinsky, we got more coming up, I wish. We got more coming up. We'll uh, wrap things up here live from Rudy's where you can swing by and get the barbecue to take it home and, uh, or eat it right here on the picnic tables. More coming up on the Texas Tech Sports Network from Learfield. Happy State buddy. Bank. Clear break, four, four minutes. The warm welcome and a smile, the happy banking experience will meet your banking needs. Hi, I'm Susie Stafford, Commercial Loan Officer, Happy State Bank. We are your friends and neighbors helping you make banking easy. Happy State Bank offers the happy experience with community banking in over 60 locations in Texas. Try the Happy State Bank experience for yourself. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member of FDIC. West Texas weather is always unpredictable, and when high winds and debris damage your roof, there's only one company to call, Andrus Brothers Roofing. ABR has been in business for over 35 years and are part of the Lubbock Area Roofing Contractors Associations, so you know they'll do the job right. If it's not ABR, it's not Andrus Brothers Roofing. Andrus Brothers Roofing, we nail it every time. Quality guarantee, Andrus Brothers Roofing, every time. 
For 10 years, the West Texas Land Guys have been turning land into dreams. West Texas Land Guys specialize in developing raw land into builder-ready, master plan communities. Having developed hundreds of acres across 10 successful communities in the Lubbock area alone, West Texas Land Guys is one of Lubbock's premier land developers. Whether you're thinking of selling land or want to buy a lot for your dream home, we've got you covered. Visit WestTexasLandGuys.com to see how we're developing the future. In Lubbock, Texas Tech basketball is more than just a game. It unites us as a community that is proud of our Red Raiders as they leave it all on the court. And proud of Texas Tech, a school that has shaped the landscape of West Texas and Plains Capital. solutions that drive efficiency and productivity. With solutions in the cloud, mobility, and unified communications, Blue Layer will turn your technology into your Camera most died. valuable asset. Let's raise the bar Can you together. turn the light off then? This is for the men who never settle, the ones who miss the fairway all day and still pull out the big stick. The type of guys who will always prefer to be behind the grill than in front of the camera. And the men I, I, who I, never I, let their friends left. forget about a high school nickname. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. Hey, it's Lauren with the Home Zone. It's basketball. 30 seconds. All your appliance and furniture needs, refrigerators, ranges, laundry, living room, dining and bedroom, all in stock and ready for same day pickup or free local delivery. We have the lowest prices in town or easy in-house financing with low monthly payments. Friendly staff, unbeatable customer service, Texas Tech alumni owned and operated. 10 seconds. Partners, check out our website at homezonetx.com or come see us at 3225 50th Street. The Home Zone, helping you make your house a home. All right, back to put the finishing touches on the program. We've got Texas Tech at 10-7 and 7 and 0-5 and in the league. Still 8-2 and 2 at home, taking on the Baylor Bears tomorrow. If you get here. Needless to say, and this is a massive game coming up with Adam Flagler and Jalen Bridges, LJ Cryer, Keontae George, and company. Baylor's really, really good, but the Red Raiders are too. 